So guys, against what the majority has been led to believe, the Model 3 performance is so much more capable than it has been put out to be. Despite all the inconsistencies between the Imperial and the metric system, we have broken it all down and concluding to the fact that the Model 3 global version is going to be a tenth of a second slower. This is not something you're going to notice in your day-to-day -day drive and definitely not something you should be concerned about if you are in the market for a new Model 3 performance. I only say this because there are great benefits with owning this variant of the Model 3 as well, being that the global market is going to be getting one built directly from China at Giga Shanghai, you are going to be getting the highest quality, the highest build craftsmanship than any of the variants in the US. On top of that, it will be rare if ever you are going to get a chance to compare both vehicles side by side, so knowing which one is quicker or slower is just not possible in any realistic case. The only time here and the only scenario will ever be able to see a one-on-one -on -one comparison between the US variant versus the global variant is if somebody living in Canada brings their car down to the US and puts them head against each other. So realistically, if you are living outside of North America, you are likely not going to ever be able to put your car against the US version. So this is just out of the question. Every other car you're going to compare it to is going to be one built directly from that single factory in China. So all in all, what I am saying here is that it is not a big deal seeing that every other Model 3 performance around you is going to be the same spec and the same performance as your very own. But then no matter what I say, for those of you that are into the numbers and max performance, this is just not enough. Let's get down to all the numbers here and all the nitty gritties that you really want to know out of your car and is it going to be capable of providing the same amount of power as the US variant. But before we get to that just a little fun fact here that I thought I'd share with you playing around with chat GPT when asked about the true dyno numbers of the 2024 model 3 performance this is what we got back and this is quite interesting the response generally went along the lines of the model 3 performance getting a notably more continuous power improvement and although the horsepower numbers are stated directly on the Tesla website when asked it seems like the dyno number is going to be at the approximate range of 550 horsepower. It also went on to say that other countries may display less due to regional variations of power measurements as well as regulatory approvals and reportings. Now even with all the interesting info that ChatGPT has provided us, take this with a grain of salt because this system here mainly scrapes information off of the web including Twitter. This is where it may provide incorrect data. This is especially important because the car has just started deliveries this week and it has not been dynoed yet so there is no possibility that ChatGPT has found a way to measure all the power output. So apart from ChatGPT just shooting us with these figures and it looked quite different each and every single time I phrased the question a little bit different, there are some additional more concrete evidence that this motor and this car is going to be upgraded to meet what the US spec is going to be like. We have received some further evidence that Tesla will eventually be providing an unlock to give us the max potential out of this vehicle. One thing you'll notice that is very similar between both track package on both model is that Tesla has taken and will be taking their sweet time to optimize the best performance and efficiency before providing this upgrade. That and the fact that both these model track packages bring 0G wheels to the mix and this is what we have been seeing with the latest leaks of the Model 3 performance second generation or whatever you want to call it. They are currently testing this and there is a lot of information you guys don't want to miss. I do have a video specific on that. If you want to check it out, I'll drop it in the description below and up top there. According to an article on CNEV post by Fate Zhang, Tesla has recently made filings in China to start selling the Model 3 performance by the end of this month. China's Ministry of Technology has recently updated their catalog allowing the Model 3 performance to be sold and in this filing catalog, you will see that that there is something quite different. Included in these filings are all the official specs, the measurements of this car, as well as the power figures, exactly what we were looking for. This dual motor configuration of the performance is going to be topping out at 261 kilometers per hour or when converted 162 miles. The front motor of this car is going to be the exact same one from the long range model, topping out at 137 kilowatts or equivalent 180 
1,984 horsepower. And for the rear of the car, this motor here is the newly upgraded one, pushing the rest of the power at 265 kilowatts or 355 horsepower. And when combined, the Chinese variant that the bulk of us are looking out for is going to be coming in at a theoretical 540 horsepower. Now, being that these are official government documentation provided by Tesla, there is no question on its legitimacy and if these are the true numbers. And regardless of whatever happens here, the car that you will be picking up will at least be as capable of what has been described at 540 horsepower. This is the theoretical number that you should be able to achieve as soon as Tesla drops the unlock. Now, funny enough, with ChatGPT, now the numbers don't seem that far-fetched. It is quite similar to what the official government docs has said. So now we start to question where this official 600 horsepower came from. So let's go down to the number 600 here and let's see if there is more power we can squeeze out of these motors. Just recently, a fellow enthusiast like you and I, directly from Singapore, has been contacting their local transport authority. They've been going back and forth and this person has been in contact with me, providing me as much information as possible. I really do appreciate that. If you are watching this video, you are the man. Now this conversation has been far stretched out, going on between the future owner, transport authority, as well as Tesla. Tesla has been very communicative between the government as well as the owner, giving them as much information as possible. With about a week of time that has gone by with communication between all parties, we have finally gotten the official numbers what we were looking for all along. Now accounting in the variations of different regional power measurements exactly as what ChatGPT has said, the power output that the Transport Authority of Singapore has given us here is 460 kilowatts between both motors. Now when doing the conversion here to a number that most of us can understand, you'll be surprised to hear that this is just over 600 horsepower from this Model 3 performance. Now it's not to say that the Singaporean version is going to be the most powerful version out there according to the Transport Authority. It is just saying that the different measurements do account for the 600 horsepower output. Now if you take this into account and compare it to even the most powerful version advertised which is 510 horsepower in the US. This is approximately 90 more than what that has. So this is just kind of a mix up that we are trying to work out. But what we know for sure is different countries do have different standards and different measurements. This means that it may just be as powerful as all the variants combined. Now what makes this more believable than not is that regular owners like you and I are being heavily taxed on these power figures. We are paying all these additional fees that we wouldn't have to pay if it didn't advertise as such. So being the fact that the government has been provided all these data from Tesla and passing down the charges and fees to us, it likely means that there is a lot more potential than meets the eyes. So here's my final thought. After accounting for everything, it seems that Tesla is being very conservative with these numbers as previously they've never given us any power metrics or any horsepower on their website. And regardless of whatever power figures Tesla has shown around the world, these official documentations and power figures has been given to the local authority, meaning that your car and your car alone is going to be getting at least these numbers when you you take delivery of it. So all in all, this is a really great thing and regardless of where you live and what car and when you take delivery, you are going to be getting the most powerful variant of the Model 3 performance that you have right now and when there is a future unlock, you can be sure that your car should be capable of handling all that power thanks to the surplus that you're seeing in these numbers provided to the government. All right, so now with all the deliveries starting to take place and zero to 60 launches already happening, I will be covering this in the next video. There is so more, I wanna deep dive into it. But for now, this should wrap it up for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. This is John once again, peace out.